Okay. Last question for today. As an INFP, I have a certain fear of things coming to me too fast and not being able to process them. I don't want to seem incompetent. That's understandable. When it comes to verbal communication, I can be all over the place at times. How can I become more verbally fluent? And this is a fantastic question. And I don't think it's just INFPs that struggle with this, but I'm, I, you know, obviously every introvert has a challenge in in uh, expressing themselves. So I'm just going to answer it as it is, but also please know if you're an INFJ, INFP or any other type of introvert tuning into this, it may apply to you too. And it's all good. So basically, a couple of things that need to happen for you to be able to crack this one is number one, you need to slow way down. So you need to make sure that, you know, you're not expecting yourself to be a perfect communicator out the gates because it's not in your wheelhouse. Introverts are not great communicators until they learn how to do it. And the first way to or the first step in learning it is to slow down. Don't accept, expect yourself to be perfect. The second step is you have to ask for space. So let's just say that somebody is, you know, wanting an answer from you or, you know, you want to put something across. It's okay to say to another person, hey, leave that with me. I'll come back to you in a bit. You know, leave it with me for a couple of minutes. Um, you know, I'll get back to you. Now, if you can't have space for whatever reason, if you need an immediate response and you haven't practiced um, kind of communicating your point across effectively, then you're just going to do your best and that's going to have to be enough, right? Don't judge yourself for something that you're not fluent at doing until you get more fluent at doing it, all right? So the third thing is, so, so first thing, slow down. Second thing, ask for space. So just say to people, hey, leave it with me for a bit. I'll get back to you shortly. The third thing that you need to do is you need to write down and journal about what actually is your point of view. Because it can be really difficult to give a precise um, uh, or succinct summary of what you want to say without understanding the different uh, facets of the issue. Now, when you start journaling things down, just journal as 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 well as you can. Just write things as well as things down as well as you can, as succinctly as you can. But also, don't like don't get uh, enamored about getting every piece of you know nuance in there. Instead, make sure that you get the main points down, and then you know expand on the main points a little bit when you're journaling. So slow down, ask for space, journal it. And then the next step is make a summary of your journaling. So what are the main points of what you're wanting to say? And how do you want to say those things? So write down, make a summary of what you want to say. Uh, these are the main points and here's the tone in which I want to deliver it. So that that's uh, step number four, make a summary. So you've slowed down, you've asked for space, you've written or journaled about it, you've made a summary about it. And the fifth step is practice delivering your summary without actually delivering it to the person that you're delivering to. So say it out loud, because remember, you're not great at verbal communication. So we want to get better at verbal communication. Take the time to practice saying what you want to say without saying it to the person right now. So then what happens is that you get fluent in actually saying the words. And after that, you're then able to say it to the person. So it's really a six step process. Number one, slow it way down. Don't expect yourself to be perfect straight away. Number two, ask for space. So say, hey, I'll get back to you. Can I come back to you in a couple of minutes? Uh, step number three, journal, write it down. Make sure that you get all your different facets of the same issue down so that, you, that you understand exactly where you're coming from. Number four, make a summary of what you want to say and the tone of, in which you want to say it. Number five, practice the summary, practice saying it out loud. And then finally, number six, talk to the person. All right. So if you allow yourself to calm, you know, to, to slow down and, and go through this process, one step at a time. What will happen is in, in about 30 times of practicing doing this, you'll get really fast at it. You'll get really, really quick at it. Um, and you'll, you'll notice a difference in your capacity to respond to a situation. Now, 
each one of these steps is really important for introverts because you know we don't we 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 often feel like we can't slow down that we have to like we have this we have to jump into action we have to do the world is all the time you know trying to get a reaction out of us or whatever we don't have to react slow down you can say it's okay i can slow down ask for space it's totally okay to set some boundaries with that you know journal and write that's how you operate most you know generally most introverts operate best you know it's like this introspection time so so honor that you're an important person and how you operate is fantastic and should not be belittled or shouldn't be made to feel like it's not real this is real this is our lives this you know we're real people <laughs> Then, you know, making the summary actually allows you to be more succinct in what you want to say. And then deciding on the tone as well will help you. And of course, practicing the summary to say it out loud um, before you go and talk to the person is an important part of it. Because, as I said, we're introverts, so we're not necessarily used to uh, communicating um, uh, outward. So we know what we're thinking, but we're not necessarily able to say it out loud. All right. So um, was that helpful? Let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Uh, did you get any questions that kind of came up for you as, as I was talking? Um, if so, feel free to ask. We're here to start and to continue these conversations. Um, this, like everything else in personal development, is an evolving discipline. Nobody ever arrives anywhere. We all have a lot to offer. Um, and yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Let me know if this was helpful so that I can continue to um, provide you guys with this material. All right. I'll talk to you real soon. Have a great week, everyone.